So this time this is the Unidem 300 which is now finished and working. Sounds like a right racket going on in Nottingham. Have to be wary that is, seeing as we're 35 miles from there. Have a flip round the channels. And if it looks like the channel display is faulty, it isn't. There's a bit of something on 26. One nine one nine or Roger, anybody out there? I don't think that I will love you was in response to my uh, one nine for a Roger. So there you have it, Uniden Uni Ace three hundred. Um, headphone socket, on off volume, squelch, mic gain, RF gain, tone high and low, which I'll demonstrate. That's in the low, that's in the high. Public address or normal CB operation, 4 watts or 0 0.4 of a watt. Your channel selects red display and on the back you've got the public address socket, extension speaker socket, external DC input uh, to run it from 12 volts and your mains input and there's a selector between the two. People who have been following this will realise that I've now got the internal power supply working on this radio because the videos on both the transmitter and receiver I was doing was operating off the external bench power supply. Uh, there's been lots of issues with this set and the corker of the fault was there was a wire link missing out of the headphone socket uh, which was causing strangled audio and that uh, led me on a bit of a song and dance. You just don't know, you know, now these are 30 years old, you just don't know who's messed about with them and why and what. I mean, the fact there's a hole in the front panel He's had something messed about with it sometime. You know, you just do not know. Uh, they don't come in with job tickets. People probably buy these on car boot sales, take them to the local CB shop, and they end up here. You know, so there we go. So that's the Uniden 300, and it's now a nice radio for somebody. Yeah, yeah.